everybody, Jeff the Nature Guy. We've got a real special show for you today. I am proud to tell you that we're going to do a Meet the Keeper again. And this time, we have a very reserved, very easygoing keeper for us today. Nora, it's great to have you here today. Cheers. Cheers. We'd like to kind of talk over coffee this morning about your great employment here at the zoo. Tell everybody out there exactly what you do and where we're at right now in this fantastic building. Well, I work with the bears and I'm the North America keeper and so I take care of the bears, I take care of the wolves, the bighorn, and we also have our golden eagle, Aura, who eventually will be on exhibit. And I gotta say, you do an amazing job with these bears here and, and you do so good at enriching them and giving them you know, something to do and always coming up with new activities for them, which is so important for their mental health. Um, obviously, I assume the bears are, are your favorite here at the zoo. I mean, I, I know you don't like picking favorites, but, I but I mean, these bears, you do a great job and so okay. I, I I assume you enjoy always coming up with new things. Tell, tell everybody about your love of bears and, and where that kind of came from. Yeah, well, I mean, it's funny because I have actually never worked with grizzly bears. And so when, you know, coming in here, you're like, okay, well, what can I do? I've worked with other bears. I've worked with um, sloth bears, polar bears. I've worked a little bit with black bears, but never grizzly bears. And these guys definitely have a different personality cool. with all the other bears I've worked with. And, but it was just fun coming to this thinking, okay, what can I do to bring to the table and what do I know from bear experience and even just working with big animals. Yeah, you do an amazing job at it. And, and, and I, we've gotten a lot of compliments of people watching these bears and how much fun they have. And obviously seeing Ozzy and Bruno together is a lot of fun. So it's been really cool. Last thing I want to ask you today, a lot of great young kids out there, of mm -hmm. course, love the zoo, want to be a zookeeper one day. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend for those young kitties out there and on getting into their career and doing what they want to do, like something like this? Yeah, I think it's definitely important to be open-minded to any animal, like just to work with all types of animals. I know when we all start out young, we all have our favorite dream animals. Yeah. And you know, I started out saying I wanted to be working with sharks. Okay. That was my dream animal. And I still love sharks. But, you know, when you start getting in there, there's hundreds and thousands of other <laughs> keepers who have the same dream animal. And so it's always important, I think, to be open to, hey, be, be open to working with different animals. Try and work with as many animals as possible. And maybe once you start getting your foot in the door and in the field, you can kind of strive towards working with your favorite animal. Because when I worked at Lowry, I got to work with a lot of pigs. And I fell in love with working I with love pigs. pigs. I love them. Yeah. And I mean, it's one of, you know, not the cool animals. Like, it's not the tigers or the bears. But I loved working with the warthogs. And I loved bearded pigs. And everyone's I'm like, oh, that's, that's a cool animal. I'm like, I love the pigs. Um, but it's the same thing. I fell in love. Um, I wanted to work and start being a marine biologist. And my mm -hmm. dad kind of gave me a... Really, you want to be a marine biologist, yeah. which is funny because both my parents work in the zoo business, so yeah. that's how I kind of got into that. Um, but I mean, I started and I eventually went over to another area and I said, oh, I love working with primates, I love working with those guys. So, I mean, but you just kind of switch your favorite animals sure. over the years, and so it's I something understand. you need to keep open. I know we all start out with a favorite animal, but mm -hmm. don't turn down all the other different <gasps> animals. I've clumped. That's very well said, and you're exactly right, but you still keep that dream going because yeah. you don't end up working with anything. Nora, it has been a pleasure. Cheers. I have certainly appreciated your time, and I know everybody out there has, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you much, and until next time, guys, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy with Nora, the great keeper here at the zoo. We will see you real soon here at Zoo Montana.